Hello, pre-calculus students, and welcome to um, our continuing lesson here on section 2.4, if you're in Mr. Wen's or Mr. Stencil's class, that talks about zeros, real zeros, of higher order polynomials. Um, and in this lesson, we're going to uh, introduce synthetic division, which is a quicker way of doing polynomial division. So now, um, I'm going to talk about synthetic division. Let me use a different color here, because that makes things a little bit more interesting. So if you have synthetic division, let me write the definition down here since I already used up all this space. f of x okay, divided by x minus k. And notice here, it has to be x minus k. Then this is what we can do. We create a little box. We put k inside of it. And then we put um, a1, a2, a3, and so on, where all of these here are coefficients of f of x. And so let's use this example here as a way to do it. So looking at the, our example, we're, I'm going to use a different color. Um, here we have, let me use a new sheet of paper here. So k in this case is negative 1. In, the, in our example here, k is negative 1. So I have um, negative 1 that goes in the box. The coefficients is 1, 2, negative 5, negative 6. And I always like to write the powers next to them just so I have a good reminder of what these numbers actually mean. It's hard to do this if you, if, if you don't really know uh, the meaning of what you're doing. Okay. Now let me explain the step. First thing, we're going to bring down the first coefficient. So this term always comes down. Okay. Then we're going to multiply negative 1 times 1. So we're going to take this term, multiply it by this number, and that goes here. So that gives me negative 1. And now we add downwards. So 2 plus negative 1 gives me 1. And then we repeat the process. 1 times negative 1. That gives me negative 1. Add. Gives me negative 6. Multiply. Negative 6 times negative 1. So this number times this number. That gives me 6 and then add again, this gives me zero. Okay. And so when I'm done with this, this is the result I get. This, num this number here was x to the third. In my answer, it becomes x to the second. This was x to the second. This is x to the first. This is x to the first, so this is x to the zero. And this is my remainder. Okay. And let's compare. You can see that this result I get x squared plus x minus 6, x squared plus x minus 6. Okay? And um, so this is a really great way to, 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 uh, to do polynomial division. Um, I know I went over this a little bit fast, so you might need to uh, rewind this video a couple of times in order to really see it. And uh, always ask your teacher in class if you have a hard time with this. But the idea is that we don't need all of these x's in here. We just care about the numbers. And that's what synthetic division does. It's not any sort of special mathematical concept. It's just a quicker, cleaner way of doing this here. Okay. Um, a couple things that are a little bit different. We flip the sign of, of this 1 here. It used to be plus 1. Now it's negative 1. And then we add instead of subtract. Okay. And then everything else is just kind of, um, all this stuff here is kind of extras that we just re we keep writing down repetitively. And again, I want to emphasize that this only works if the coefficient is 1 and the power is 1. So only works for coefficient and power of 1. If this had been a 4 or a 5, uh, this process would not have worked. 
if this had been an x squared or an x to the third or an x to the fifth, uh, that also would not have worked. Okay? But it is a great way to do this, and you can kind of go back and you can look at some of the problems in the book and see how you can uh, start out with this expression, this long polynomial expression up here, given some, some values to try, basically something to help you guess from, and quickly factor it down to this. Okay? And this is the, the main idea of the entire section. Um, we're going to continue a little bit further on after this with how do the next step is how do we even get these numbers to even these expressions here to even try them what's good what is what are some good guesses to make here so that's that's what we're going to do in the next uh, part of the lesson but for now um, you should be able to do all of the problems as long as you're given something like this but thank you for watching as always if you have a hard time um, ask your teacher for help have a wonderful day